Hello and welcome back everybody. It's Complicated Relationships Reddit Stories. Hope you guys are safe and healthy. Now let's see what the story is about today. Well, in today's story, OP says, My pregnant wife was seeing her married co-worker. Now it's time we listen to the story. Also, if you like my stories, please give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. Me and my wife have been married for four and a half years and have a beautiful little girl who is three. Last year, we bought a house which came with a massive amount of stress due to being put through a lot by the solicitors we were dealing with, but we got a house we both loved. We tried for a second child a few months after moving in. My wife began to worry that we couldn't conceive a second as the first one had been so quick. She told me if we didn't try now, we would never conceive. I knew how much it meant to her, so we tried. Eventually, she got pregnant. It was great as she was immensely happy. I started participating in online courses to try and get the skills needed for a different career path to support the family. Fast forward three months and they have a discussion saying that they have grown apart with his studying and they weren't like the old them. We agreed we needed to take more time out for each other as things had gotten a bit stale between us. We spoke more and she mentions how happy she is at work. One guy in particular, she seems to mention more than anyone else. She changes almost overnight. Suddenly, she starts doing things she wouldn't usually do. She is on her phone almost constantly, taking baths every single day immediately after work and really going to town on makeup and moisturizer. When I asked, she responded that because she was getting bigger, she wanted to look after herself more. I bought it. Understandable, right? I thought that it was good she was doing these small things that made her feel good about herself. It was other small things as well that gave me the idea that things weren't as they appeared. Staying later after work, wanting me to go upstairs earlier at night to put our daughter to bed, things like that. Still, I didn't suspect anything and trusted her 100%. One day out of the blue, she asks if it was okay to go away for the night to see an old school friend she hadn't seen in a long time. I said, sure, that's fine. It would be great for her to catch up. It didn't even enter my mind that she was having a relationship with a guy from work or anywhere for that matter. A week later, OP's mother-in-law visited them and tells them a story about her friend who was going through a divorce. Her friend had found texts on her husband's phone that he was seeing another woman. My mother-in-law and I discussed how awful it must be and that we couldn't imagine getting to a stage where we felt the need to check our partner's phones. I looked at my wife during this conversation and for the tiniest split second saw a flash of unease and fear wash over her face. That was when I started adding things up. I didn't actually believe she had done anything, but there was something in the back of my mind that was nagging at me. As I connected the dots, I became more and more concerned. After she had gone to bed, I walked into the bedroom and it was like I'd caught her in the middle of something. She was in bed and had pulled the covers right up to her chin quickly as I entered. I asked if she was okay, had a small chat, and kissed her goodnight. My mind was now on red alert, so I logged into her social media accounts on my computer back in my study, and what I saw was worse than I could have imagined. She has been texting with AP and sending him videos of them doing stuff. She had been doing it while she was in bed and when OP was studying. The conversations had made it clear they had been having relations at work and even in our house while I was working. I also found out he was almost 20 years older than her and had a wife and two kids of his own. She had been doing things with him that she would never do with me. He would tell her each morning on what to wear, how to talk to him, etc., and she was absolutely loving it. She suggested they book a hotel away as she couldn't bear the thought of being away from him and would tell me that she was meeting up with an old school friend. The messages seemed to indicate that she was pushing things further and further and was planning around our schedule to get on with it wherever she could. Pure adrenaline rushed through me as I saved everything I could from those conversations, and I slept next to my daughter that night. I didn't actually sleep, I just kind of laid there, thinking. It was hard to do, but I didn't really know what to say. She got all dressed up and was happy as can be as she left to work that morning, and I had planned to confront her when she got home. My mother-in-law came to collect her daughter as she looked after her while we were both at work, and I told her everything. 
she was extremely sympathetic and disappointed. My wife came home and knew she had been found out. I vented and wanted to know why. Why had she done this? Was the baby mine? Initially, she didn't say anything and wouldn't answer my questions. She just looked at the floor, zoning out. After a while, OP asked if she could actually talk to him and she swore it had only been in the last week that things between them escalated physically. This lines up with the messages they had been sending that OP had saved. She said she didn't love this guy and that it was a stupid mistake. She claimed she wasn't thinking. It was nothing to do with me and that she still loved me. I had done nothing wrong. It was just an escape from the ordinary life. She blamed the hormones and that she hadn't been well mentally for a while. She stayed at my mother-in-law's house that night with her daughter so I could get some headspace, but it did little to ease my pain. I called her and said I missed her. She said the same. The next night, we were intimate and it was like nothing had happened. I felt like I needed to reclaim what had been taken from me, so I was the one who initiated it. We decided that we did love each other and that although it was going to take time, things would be rough for a while. I just wanted to see what would happen when the baby was born. I couldn't give up so easily. I just asked her to be 100% honest with me from now on. She went back to work and said she had moved offices away from him. She claimed that they had spoken and she had told him that her family was the most important thing to her and that they could no longer carry on. So both of them went back to work, which at first was horrible for OP. He would come back home in a different mood every day. He started trying to study less and spend time with the wife watching TV, reading with her next to him and getting up with her in the morning to say goodbye instead of staying asleep. I started going to the gym, eating healthier and looking after myself more. We had good days and bad, taking our daughter on outings and playing with her. More intimacy here and there. Her parents paid for us all to go away to a spa, which was nice. After a few weeks, I was slowly but surely believing more and more that this could work. I felt like some good could actually come out of the whole situation. Last week, she said she had to go away on a business trip on a day she doesn't usually work. I said, that was pretty irregular, and I would obviously be a bit worried. She had asked a friend to take her daughter instead of her mother, which was unusual. I expressed my concern and asked her if she was using this opportunity to meet up with him again. She said no and gave me the time and location she would be on the day to ease my mind. By this time, things had been going pretty well, and I saw how much she wanted us to be together, how upset she had been, how much better I felt in such a short amount of time. I believed her. Then she called me on my lunch, said things had been cancelled at work and she was coming home early. I asked if she wanted to grab lunch as she would be in the same area. She said no, she just wanted to go home. When I came back home, I asked her how the business trip was and she said it was boring and not very eventful. I kept thinking how odd it was that she had gone away that day and then come back so early. I checked her phone and it showed that she hadn't been where she said she had been. So I confronted her. She denied she had seen him again. I pointed out all the evidence and she eventually admitted it. She said they had cleared the air and they both agreed they wanted to focus on their families and nothing else was going to happen between them. She said they had just talked about what had happened and wanted to get some closure. She hadn't spoken to him at work since the day, which is definitely a lie, and she wanted to close the case. She said she went to his house but did not go inside. They went to a local cafe, got some coffee, and just walked around the park talking for an hour or two. I pulled up a picture of a random cafe on my phone which was nowhere near the location she said was at. I asked if that was the one they had been to. She said yes, that was the one. Another lie. I told her that the cafe was nowhere near where she said she was and she got angry and defensive. In the morning as one last test, I asked her to message the guy saying, I feel much better after yesterday. This way, if he replies with something harmless and in line with what she had told me, then it could be true. If, however, he mentions that they had relations again, the game would be up. She refused. I tried to take her phone off of the bedside table saying I would send it if she wouldn't. She went mad and screamed at me whilst snatching her phone away. She then began typing on it furiously. This to me was as good as a confession. She said she lied to me again about where she was because she thought I would leave if I found out she wanted to talk to him again. 
I sent her to her mother's house, and I have no idea what to do. I just can't believe that she is pregnant with my child, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's mine, and is still hanging around with this guy. Edit 1. I feel tremendous guilt in not telling his wife. I've decided that I am going to tell her. She needs to know. Edit 2. I told her if anything happened again, I would end it, and it has. She had her chance. I need to do the difficult thing now, and that is to divorce her ASAP. Edit 3. I'm pretty confident that the baby was conceived well before their relationship became physical. The messages has pretty much confirmed that. Regardless, I may get a DNA test in the future. Our first child looks like an exact copy of me, so it'll be the same for the second one as well. There will be no doubt. Well, OP, STD and DNA test both children is a must. I'm sorry, but this is not a marriage in any sense of word. She went there to knock boots, if you know what I mean. You will never get the truth out of her. If you're looking for the truth, look elsewhere. Reconciliation will make you a warden even after 7 years. It will never be the same. Only 15% reconciliations stay together with kids and less than 8% without kids. Sorry, but understand this relationship will never be the same. She cheated on you while pregnant so I wouldn't be surprised if she had cheated before. That's a very low down and dirty thing to do. Most women barely even want to sleep with their husbands while pregnant, let alone engage in some weird relationship with an older man at work. File for divorce ASAP and I would even move out so she can experience what her new reality will be. That will definitely be the wake up call for her. She has no respect for you it is one thing to forgive and leave and quite another to forgive and stay. Right now, she has no incentive to be faithful. In fact, she had every reason not to be. Rest assured, her behavior will never stop. By the way, if you haven't reached out to her AP spouse yet, do it ASAP. She deserves to know everything about this. You would want her to tell you if the positions were reversed. You owe neither of them any secrecy or respect. Do not maintain her lies. The AP is a utter piece of human garbage that needs to be outed both at work and at home. Regardless of how your wife has bonded with him, I'm sure he has had multiple affairs with women in that same office. Normally, they don't allow people in senior positions in a firm to have affairs with junior positions. I just hope you do the right thing. Thank you all beautiful people for listening. Please like, comment and share the video if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when we upload the next video. Take care.